Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack. Now, very rarely do I ever show you guys the startup screen of the heroes that we're picking, but the reason why I'm showing that is because it's very important with what today's video is going to be talking about, which is kind of like the meta for Season 9, and I'm using air quotes because you don't always have to follow the meta to win games. You know, I play Mei, and Mei is probably one of the worst heroes to try to follow the meta with to win games, but I see, still see great success with her. But that doesn't mean I still don't ever follow the meta, I d that doesn't mean that I don't ever play heroes that are very meta to still win games, and same thing for you, and that's why I'm making this video because season 9 is coming up here pretty soon and this is what's going to be going on for season 9 for the Overwatch League for anything because it just kind of works because of the addition of Moira and what I'm talking about is the quad tank meta so remember back in season 7 how the meta was with Mercy and season 4 the meta was with Bastion and season 3 there was the quad not the quad tank meta just the world of tank meta where usually you ran three tanks uh, Lucio and Ana and sometimes a soldier sometimes a McCree and you just kind of did that well here excluding the Tori Buren, we're literally running with a Lucio, a Mora, and four other tanks, which is going to be a Diva, Reinhardt, Roadhog, and a Zarya. And the reason why this is so good, and the reason why I'm showing this gameplay right here, because it just kind of works. And you're seeing, we're just diving in. The Ryan just went full balls deep, pinned the Junkrat, and we're going on to the first point. And really, this is going to work around two CP maps and hybrid maps, which is Eichenwald, Hollywood, Kings Row, so on and so forth. And you're seeing right here that we're just getting a bunch of kills, and we just kind of... Not blindsided them because we went head on first. We just did not care. We had big cojones and you see it kind of worked out. And I've done this at least like three times, but I just want to show you with this gameplay how this kind of works. Now, this was just the first part of the video. I want to just show you why this is going to kind of take over the future meta. Not all the time, but just how it kind of works. But now for the second part of the video, I'm explaining what we use and why it worked out. So in terms of the team comp, this is the first part that we need to talk about because you can't really flex around with this. With a dive to meta or the dive comp, whatever you called it, you can get pretty flexible. You ran a Winston and a Lucio, and that's basically it. Sometimes you can run a Genji, sometimes you can run a Tracer, so on and so forth, but with this, it, it's kind of in the name, you know, it's self-explanatory. The quad tank meta, the beefy tank meta, whatever stupid name that you want to call it from Bro you Whack, you can call it, but either way, you're more than likely going to run four tanks. The reason for those four tanks is all just played around the Moira. The Moira is the key factor here. Because of the addition of Moira, this is why it's changing the meta, and the reason why Moira is such a key hero in this in, in this kind of meta and this kind of team comp is just because you build your ultimate so quick. The tanks there are supposed to sustain the Moira. The tanks there are supposed to build Moira's ultimate, and Moira's ultimate charges so quick because your Moira is sustaining the tanks. The tanks are there to sustain, sustain the Moira, and once you build that ultimate, usually within the first minute, sometimes it can be two minutes if you're not that great with Moira, then you go in with Coalescence, and that sustains anybody that could that kills everybody and then you can just go and take the first point think like the best way I can kind of just like throw it into your mind is thinking think of it like the dive comp just on the ground just think of it like you're rushing in you're a football player I'm literally getting up just to show you guys but you can't see you're literally f going up to the o-line and you're just charging in you're going balls deep and you don't care because you're a tank that's what tanks are supposed to do they're supposed to be aggressive they're supposed to not care and they're supposed to realize hey I can take a hit that's why I can't play tanks that well because <laughs> I'm not that aggressive I'm not an aggressive guy, I'm not that aggressive of a player, so that's why I play Lucio. But now, backpacking off that Lucio pick, Lucio is gonna be the sixth pick, because again, you can't really get all flexible, because it, this whole comp is played around the Moira, and Moira, in a sense, is your primary healer, but, like, also, you're, like, your main DPS, because you saw, like, we're playing four tanks, three of them, are, which are very slow, a Reinhardt, a Zarya, and a Roadhog. Diva is very mobile, she can hold out on her own, she doesn't need a speed boost, but... Lucio makes it so that he doesn't have to be the primary healer or even really secondary healer. He is there to speed up the tanks and also get DPS. A good Lucio is going to be a great DPS hero, but that, again, he's not really there for that. So really, what this is all about, going off the first like gameplay bit of this video, what's going to happen is that you're going to go to the choke of whatever, 2CP or a hybrid map, whether it's Hollywood, whether it's Temple, or whether it's Full Sky Industry, and you're just going to dive them on the ground while speed boosting. This is why the dive comp worked out so well is because, well, the Winston dived in the back, got their support, and then Lucio speed boost everybody else. It wasn't just tanks, but now, now the reason why tanks are so important is because now they don't, it doesn't matter if they're slow or fast, they're more than likely going to be fast, they can go and get some kills, but also Moira's going to build her ultimate on these fat, heavy, beefy, 600, 500, 400 HP tanks and just build her ultimate so quick, and usually you don't have to stay on that 
them for the heals because you just have to spray them for a couple of seconds and then they start to regenerate health a little bit over time which rebuilds her which builds her ultimate and what does this mean this means well hey now they're getting heals and they're also moving very fast and they're also getting kills i'm getting my ultimate charge up and i can also still get kills with my damage ball and, and get kills with my soul sucking ability and then i'm gonna have my ultimate i'm gonna kamikame ka or whatever they say in dragon ball z and then just use my ultimate sustain some more and, and just start to get more kills. Hopefully my explanation made sense to you because I know I kind of went fast there, but again, just remember, the Lucio's main job is to speed the tanks up. The tanks there are supposed to get kills, but also take some damage so the Moira can get some heals. Moira, this is all revolved around the Moira because if the Moira doesn't get the heals off, the Moira doesn't get the kills off either and doesn't build her ultimate, it's not gonna work. But this is gonna work also if the enemy team is not prepared for it and not organized because this, this kind of meta, this comp, works so well on players that aren't ready for it, are gonna get caught with their pants down and backpedaling. And I always say, whether you're backpedaling in football, in baseball, in basketball, or here in Overwatch, you're gonna lose because you can't see what's behind you. You don't know what's going on. When you're walking backwards, you don't know if your teammate's behind you, you don't know if there's a diva behind you, a Moira, and you're gonna get caught with your pants down. So if you're backpedaling, you're probably gonna lose. And this comp is built so that the enemy team just was not is not prepared for. It. But it's not like this comp doesn't have holes in it because this comp really only works within the first fight Because hey if the enemy team recognizes what you're doing Well, they they kind of know what you're gonna be doing for the second fight and the third fight if you don't capture that first point Like we did with Eichenwald then I wouldn't say you're screwed But it won't really work like a second time or a third time plus on top of that if we're gonna continue moving the payload on Eichenwald Luckily, we didn't have to we're gonna still need an offense here like like a McCree or, or a soldier or just someone because Tanks, like, yes, they're very flexible, they can still get kills, but they're supposed to be doing a lot more. And whenever you pick, like, a McCree or a Soldier, their main job is supposed to get kills. A tank, not so much. They still can, I, I recognize that, but it's not going to work. It's not going to sustain. This whole quad tank meta is not going to work out throughout the rest of the point, so that's why I say it's going to really work on 2CP and hybrid maps. Control maps maybe for the first fight, but afterwards, it's not gonna really work out, my boys. And that's the quad tank meta. That's the beefy tank meta for season nine. And hopefully this explanation video just kind of shows you why so many people are wanting to play this because it's diving on the ground, but it's all based around that Moira. Cause if that Moira sucks, oh my boys, you better hope the tanks are gonna carry you because hey, that's four other heroes that are supposed to get the other kills. But hopefully this video made sense to you and hopefully me explaining just, just helped you out in the near future. So I love you guys. More of our videos to come. I love you guys some more. And yeah, that's about it. Bye-bye. <laughs>